Hello everybody and welcome to a very special edition of Panini Unwrapped. I'm Tracy Hackler, joined on either side by Product Development Greatness. Director of Product Development Ben Eklar is on my right and it will be your left. And then on my left and your right is Carl Braun, a brand manager who uh, was uh, uh, spearheaded the production of or the creation of Panini Century Collection trading cards. This is a a high-end, really unique product. I, I like to think all of our products are unique, but this one has a different feel than our other products. And it's Carl, what's in here, man? It's got a little bit of everything from famous Hall of Famers, basketball players, hockey players, presidents, astronauts, movie stars, you name it, it's in here. And now, Ben, tell me, have we ever done a product that has, where every card in the pack has been either an autograph or a memorabilia card? We have not. Uh, this is the first first time with everything that's, every card in the product is an autograph or a memorabilia card. There's at least five of them in each of these boxes with at least one that's slapped. Nice. Um, so it's, I mean, it's a great selection, you know, you know, it's century collection. It pretty much captures the last century um, from, you know, like we've said, you know, from astronauts, presidents, uh, baseball Hall of Famers, uh, we got basketball players, we've got uh, um, uh, hockey greats, um, you name it, we've got a, a bowler in here, Parker Bond, we got Lefty Cray, Lefty Deceiver with his stamp, and a lot of stamps in here, you remember Century Collection from 2004, um, it has a little bit of that element as well in here. Um, lots of cut cigs. Um, there's at least three Babe Ruth cut cigs in this program. Nice. Um, you know, there's a, a number of great Hall of Famers, uh, presidents, um, astronauts, um, as well in the cuts. Um, but it's a it's a really nice product. It's got some great photography um, players that you may not you know uh, you may not recognize the face because it was an early shot from their high school days. Um, some players like Pete Rose, you've got a, a, a shot of him playing football. Um, uh, some of the Hall of Famers playing basketball that are not basketball, not known for basketball. So, yeah, one of the things that pro. that leaps out at me on this product is the unique photography that you mentioned. I've got a card here of of baseball's Jim Rice, who on the front you might mistake him for Jerry Rice because he's right. catching a football. Right. It's just a very cool uh, twist that really seldom seen photography that really pops. That's a piece of his uh, jersey. And then the, uh, the stamps, too, guys. Uh, here's a souvenir stamp card of Luis Aparicio, number 22 of 25. And, and talk about uh, what it's like to procure stamps as a, as a part of a member, as a piece of memorabilia when we're used to procuring jerseys and hats and bats and... What's that process like? Either one of you gentlemen, really. Well, for obtaining the stamps, you have to go through what are what are called a Scott catalog, and you have to identify the stamps that you want. Mm -hmm. And from there, you have to find a source that can supply you those stamps. And what we did was we found a dealer, a stamp dealer, out mm -hmm. of Florida. And this guy was able to help us get many different stamps from you know years past current stamps um, some from the 70s you know some of the astronaut stamps were back when a postage stamp was worth five cents right so now do you guys find I mean it, it makes sense to me that this product would appeal not only to to collectors of, of trading cards but also to stamp collectors as well do you guys find that? Oh, definitely. Um, back when in 2004 when we had Century Collection, we actually, at the National, we had a guy come by that uh, he was a stamp collector, and um, he actually got into the cards because of the stamps. <laughs> and he had built pretty much the whole collection um, from 2004. He was just missing a few of them, and you know, he came by and just showed them all to us to, you know, kind of say, hey, you know, this is a great set, you know, collect the stamps, and you got me involved in cards, and um, so it, it was a great uh, uh, trade-off to sit there and see someone from collecting stamps, you know, all those years to come into cards because the stamps were on the cards. Right. Here's a Bob Feller autograph. Um, recently deceased Bob Feller, a number 10 of 50. It's a, a, a very 
distinctive familiar autograph. I wanted to show my uh, slab card here. What did you get there, CB? 33 of 52. Nice. Phil Rizzuto. Nice. Scooter. Now the, the, I mean, just in five cards here, okay? It's, I've got six cards, I'm sorry. I've got a Bob Feller autograph jersey card. I've got a Jack Morris autograph. I've got a Louis Aparicio memorabilia stamp card. I've got a Catherine Hepburn Humphrey Bogart stamp dual memorabilia card. The breadth of, I've got a Jim Rice memorabilia card of him playing football. I mean, this is stuff, and I've got an Ar Arky Vaughn. It's like a bat card. I mean, that kind of breadth, it's, it runs the gamut, man. It, it appeals, mm -hmm. there's something in, it, in there that appeals to seemingly everybody. Right, and my slab card ends up being uh, Derek Rose, who's having okay. a great season with the Bulls. Absolutely. And this one's actually numbered four of ten, so nice. Um, very low numbering on a lot of these cards, so it's a, it's a nice selection of, uh, as you can see, you got some basketball here. You've got uh, Hollywood uh, here, um, baseball Hall of Famers. Um, you know, cut six of you know, one of the great Yankees. Right. Um, you've got. I wanted uh, to point out the the Ron Turcott. Nice. The jockey of Secretariat. I mean, it's, a, it's you know, great great selection. So. And this is a a bat card of Eddie Murray, but again, it's a high school shot of him playing basketball. Right. Just you never see that. Um, and we were talking before we started about uh, some of the astronauts who have uh, cards and memorabilia and autographs in this set. Who were some of those guys, Carl? Uh, Alan uh, Shepard. Barbara Morgan. Barbara um, Morgan. Is in this right. set. Uh, uh, Scott Carpenter from Mercury 7. Um, uh, there's three astronauts who actually walked on the moon. Um, out of the 12 that actually walked on the moon in this set. Um, there is, I mean, it's just... You name it, we ended up with 20, 20 astronauts in the program. They all signed up. Uh, you know, we all got autographs from them. We got some memorabilia from them. Um, and it's a great, it's a great, you know, in, in, a, in a case of 15 boxes, you should at least get three astronauts. Um, sometimes you get a little bit more than that. Um, and then some of the Hall of Fame greats that are in here, you know, your Cal Ripkins, um, Nolan Ryan, uh, Stan Musial, um, and you've got uh, um, a very high desired autograph of Pete Rose. Um, he's in this set, and he's actually got three different photos from high school. Um, you know, one's just a headshot, but one's baseball, and then another one's him actually playing football. So, I think we have a Pete Rose where he's playing football as well. Right, yeah. In high school. Well, that's what, you, you hear it said a lot, but truly, you will not find anything else on the market like this. It's truly unique. Right. It's 2010 Panini Century Collection. Look for it everywhere beginning uh, Wednesday. And uh, Scott's giving me this. It, it is a bit pricey. It's $200, but you're, every card has memorabilia or an autograph on it. And, and there's one slab. And for the amount of history that you get in each box, it's, uh, if you got $200 to spend, it's money well spent. So uh, look for it everywhere beginning this week. Yes. And thank you guys for joining me. Thanks. And right. thank you for thank watching. You. And we're probably going to have to give some of these away. So look for how you might win some of this stuff online, Twitter, Facebook, blog, website, all that stuff. Thanks for watching.